Hello, this video is going to be about announcements in Google Classroom. So um, I know I already talked a little bit about announcements in the stream versus classwork tab video, but there's a few more things to kind of cover for announcements specifically. So if you're doing this for my tech class, your assignment is to of course watch this video and then you're going to have an announcement in the stream with the same title as this assignment. Um, so you're going to follow the direction. So it's linked here. But of course, and you can also just go to your stream in your Google Classroom and see it here, but that one just brings you like directly to it. Um, so you could just you know, kind of skip cutting through some different pages, but this will bring the announcements kind of in a big, easy to read thing. So announcements really are, um, I like to post one, like when we did remote learning, I post one daily with the agenda. Um, I can link a video which I did every day. I can put images on there um, that you can open up and see any type of document or a link to a website that you can visit. Um, if you're having problems or you have a question that you think other people in the class might have the same question as you, you can add a class comment and ask it there. That way everyone will be able to see the answer. Um, and then if it's just a question that's specific to you or a specific issue you're having with Google Classroom, you can ask that question in a private comment, which you can find in, if you go to any assignments page, and I'll show you that in a future video on um, where to find the private comments, um, or you can email me. Um, so you just really want to, you know, read the announcements. And if there's anything linked, like a video, an image, a document, a website, um, you want to look at that. Um, that's there for a reason, especially if we're, you know, doing remote learning at some point this year. Um, and I have a video in the announcement, it's going to be me walking you through the day's assignments, um, which is very helpful to you because I will throw in some extra, you know, little teaching moments, a little bit tips or whatever um, that helps make, you know, you do your assignments, uh, make you completing your assignments a little bit easier. So then you would just find your announcements again on the classwork tab or in this particular case, this one to make sure you actually read the announcement and uh, check out that last sentence because that tells you what it is you're supposed to comment on the announcement page. And then once you have commented on the announcement with the particular um, thing I want you to comment with, then you can mark this assignment as done. You can also just add a class comment. You, I don't want you to add the class comment to this assignment. I want you to add it to the announcement. So make sure that you're actually on the announcement page and add the comment there versus adding the announcement to the assignment or adding the you know comment to the assignment, okay? So then mark it done when you are completed. So that's all there is. Please, when you see an announcement with something linked, make sure you read the entire announcement and um, look at whatever has been linked for you to take a closer look at.